Hey yo, Spaghetto here, and welcome back to my Made Whammon. Today we're going to be playing episode 11, so sit back and get comfortable. And also, if you like series like these, be sure to check out the donation box I set up in the description. And it, it if you guys donate, I can make more series like this, because these visual novels are a lot of fun, except they're, they're expensive. So, yeah, if you'd, like, if you'd like to donate, that'd be great. And if um, you're here on the premiere, I say hello to everybody. It's always nice to premiere these videos and enjoy them with you guys. So without further ado, let's just jump into this. Evil knows no limits. I read the contents of the envelope once again. Think you've escaped? Better keep a close eye on Kim. <laughs> oh, jeez. If I catch you with her, I will break her. The graphic description sends a chill down my spine. Is it, is it Jin? I don't know. Jin's like the only one I could see like being mad at me and Kim because she rejected him, but uh, maybe there's another character we don't know about. I can't take it any longer. This person is testing my limits. I have to express my anger somehow before I totally lose it. What should I do? Punch the wall, crumple the paper, groan loudly. Time to punch the wall because uh, I don't handle my emotions well and I would probably do this. I clench my fist in pure anger. Hurt me all you want, but nobody hurts my friends. I stand up and I punch the wall in front of me. Though my knuckles hurt, I feel numb. Releasing my anger didn't cure my irritation, but I feel better. My classmates immediately shoot me curious glances. The girls seem especially concerned. Oh, oh no, Noodle Boy, what's wrong? Just a bit of stress relief, haha. <laughs> they don't need to know the full details of my frustration. After second period, my teammate calls me in for the calls me for the classroom. Hey, man. Come over here for a sec. I head over to my teammate and give him a fist bump. Hi there. Why the sudden visit? Hello there, Mr. Popular Dude. So the rest of the team is planning a mixer party with some girls for nationals, man. And? Since you're like Mr. Popular, can you come, dude? It'll encourage some girls to join us, man. What should I say? Heck yeah! I deserve a bit of fun, too. Great, dude. I thought you were going to say no. Nah, I need to get out sometimes. So, I don't fall for my maids. We've got coach's approval. The only thing missing now is the date and the list of girls coming. Looking forward to it. Anyway, I'll text you the details soon, man. You really, you really, really desperately need to go. My teammates' words fade out as I happen to see Kim pass by. I gotta tell her about the latest threat. Since we can't be talking here in public, I shoot her via I shoot her a text. Meet me in our classroom after practice ends. She replies with the basic and emotionless okay. At least she didn't hit us up with that fat K, okay. Right after basketball practice, I go straight to the classroom to meet Kim. Being very cautious, I make sure to lock the doors and turn off the lights. Hopefully no one will suspect that we are the people inside. Kim is sitting at the far end waiting for me. We have to make this quick. You don't want to be caught by that anonymous bully. Okay, legit. Who is cowardice enough to bully somebody anonymously? Like, how much of a wimp and a loser do you have to be to, like, try and bully somebody but do it anonymously because you're too sad to actually confront them? What a loser. The dark classroom makes it hard for me to see Kim, but her scent leads me to her. I stand in front of Kim. Kim, I called you here today because I got another threat. I hand her the note and Kim reads it. How is Kim reading it in the dark? I knew this was coming. This person is targeting your closest friends. Soon enough, he'll target your other teammates. Alright, this is what Noodle Boy needs to do. He needs to take all the threats, analyze the handwriting, and see if they are from the same person. And if they are, then turn the threats into the, all the teachers in the school and have the teachers compare the threats to the assignments that they're being sent in by the classmates that they have and have the teachers compare the threats to the handwriting in the assignments that they get so that they can identify the bully through handwriting. It's not that hard. Then again, Noodle Boy doesn't seem the brightest. So far, Mina and Anna are unharmed, but that's because I'm pretty much avoiding them in public. 
This time, the threat is against me, and the best thing to do is avoid me, too. What do you think, little boy? What should I say? Will you be alright? I hear Kim scoff in annoyance. <clears throat> I'm not some damsel in, in distress. I can protect myself. Figures. Kim's a strong, independent whammon. I can't help but worry, but what if he attacks you all of a sudden? He probably won't as long as we don't talk in school. I'm safe. Are you really sure about that? I won't forgive myself if you get hurt. Enough drama, Noodle Boy. You've done so much for me already. The days continue. I avoid talking to Kim and Mina while we're in school. Anna avoids passing by our school so she could stay away from the potential danger. I honestly just want to catch the culprit. If this happened in a movie, there'd be a happy yet there'd be a happy ending. But this isn't a movie. It's a visual novel! I have to catch him! It's dark it's a dark and gloomy Friday. Since Anna is still at her university, I asked Kim and Mina to sit with me on the couch. Master, is there a reason why you called us here tonight? No particular reason, I just I just wanted to say thank you for being so patient with me. That's nothing. We're here to help make your life easier. Instinctively, my eyes drift to Kim. This past week, Kim has been quiet again, both in school and at home. It's okay, Kim Sama. We'll protect you from the weirdo. Though her silence bothers me, I can't afford to think about it now. I deduce that it's her time at the mo- What? What? <laughs> Kim simply nods at me emotionlessly. Then Mina shoots me a question. How would you like to catch the culprit, Master? I explained this earlier. What should I say? We'll work on this together! I mean, sure, why not? I'm counting on you. Kim shrugs without an looking at me in the eye. Okay then, what's wrong with Kim? We'll protect, we'll protect each other, Master. I'll give it my all to catch him. Me too. Kim's voice is almost inaudible, but I can read her lips. I'll keep my promise and protect all of you from harm. I ordered me and Kim to go to bed early while I wait for Anna to arrive home. I figured that I should ask Anna about Kim's sudden silence. When she swings to open the main door, Anna greets me with an angelic smile. Oh master, why are you still up? Did you not like the dinner I made? I apologize for coming home late. Uni university deadlines are killing me. I shake my head and I pat her back. Dinner was splendid as usual. Thanks for preparing it in advance. Anna holds my gaze, and I feel butterflies in my stomach. If looks could kill, Anna could slay me. <laughs> slay me, please. Slit my throat, senpai. Then were, then were you waiting for me to come home? Her flirtatious tone sets me on fire. Maybe I was waiting for her so I could ask her about, so I could ask about Kim. But why am I so flustered by her question? What should I say? Yes, I was waiting for you. Anna raises her eyebrow and grins. <laughs> I see. Does Master want me to do something from him? Um, do you want to play solitaire? It's my favorite. Her sultry walk causes me to take a step backwards. Why are you blushing? Why are you blushing? Why are you running? I realize that Anna's just being her playful self, so I take control. Anna, I'm being serious now. I've been wanting to ask you something. Anna catches my drift and stops teasing me. Yes, Master, pardon me. Ask me anything. Don't be afraid to ask, okay? No time for beating around the bush. I have to be straightforward. 
Have you noticed how Kim's been acting lately? Anna seems taken aback by my question. Uh, hmm, why do you ask? She's been a little quiet this past week. I'm tempted to think it was it's just PMS. I like to think that I'm a keen observer, but I've just been so busy with school I haven't noticed. Kim cares a lot about you. I think this time you need to talk to her. The idea of confronting Kim still doesn't sit well with me. My gut tells me that something's bothering her, and I fear that it's not just her monthly visitor. Ugh. How do I talk to Kim? You walk up to her and ask what's wrong. I count the days and Kim's still unusually distant, even at home. It's already give a given that we shouldn't talk to each other in school. If we do, who knows that? Who knows what that anonymous culprit might do to my maids? It's just seven in the morning, so school is relatively quiet. My back is leaning against the wall in the hallway, but I lose my composure when Kim passes by. Her foxy eyes are hypnotic, but of course, I can't say hi to her. When she walks past me, I notice her bag is unzipped. Her notebook drops on the floor, but she keeps walking. Hey! I run up to pick up the fallen notebook, but Kim is already so far ahead. My pupils dilate when I check the notebook. This is Kim's diary. What do I- what should I do? Um... Uh... Ah! Oh man, what should I do? Ooh, do I read it? What if Kim's been the one sending the notes out of jealousy? That would be the ultimate plot twist. This thing might hold the answers to all my questions about Kim. I should hide and read this in secret. I rush to the nearest bathroom. My hands are shaking. I'm about to read Kim's diary. Hmm, will I discover some secrets here? Or will I find out who Kim likes? The whole thought of Kim liking some guy agitates me for some reason. There's no way Kim has a crush on me. Without further delay, I flip open the diary. Inside is Kim's neat handwriting, with only one entry. Dear Diary, I had this friend named Jin. He's a year older than me, and very handsome. He's attractive, rich, and popular. Geez, why am I getting so worked up? Am I angry? Actually, Jin has been talking to me a lot recently. I don't remember how he said it, but I think he said he's, that he likes me. Then again, something kind of crazy happened. This is, is this where Kim tells her diary that Jin beat me up? Jim started punching and kicking Noodle Boy because it seemed like he was spying on us. Frankly, I don't care if Noodle Boy was eavesdropping on us or not. It's not like he cares anyway. All he cares about is Mina and Anna. I gripped the diary with both hands. No, that's not true. I care about Kim too. Anna is the perfect maid, while Mina is so friendly and hardworking. I'm starting to think that I'm just a burden in Noodle Boy. Frick! Guys! Kim's become self-aware! <laughs> She's been reading the comments in the chat. She realizes we've been bullying her the full let's play and she thinks that we all hate her. Oh no! She knows the truth! Ah! Everyone! Stop being so mean to Kim. She's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> ah! I haven't been able to e I haven't even been able to speak to Noodle Boy at home lately. I'm just a burden. All I do is clean and do the laundry and nothing to be proud of as is made. My chest tightens. I imagine Kim crying. I feel like crying too. Since Noodle Boy is so popular these days, he'll he'll get a girlfriend in no time. Am I feeling? Why am I feeling so hurt? Is it because I might lose him as a friend? Little by bit, the puzzle, little by bit, the puzzle pieces come together. Kim feels like a burden at home. So she hasn't been able to face me. But she's got it all wrong. If Noodle Boy gets a girlfriend, I want him to be happy. I'll still be here for him whenever he needs me, but I gotta go my own way for now. The diary entry makes me realize how much Kim cares for me. Though she thinks otherwise, I care for her just as much. My heart is happy and hurt at the same time. Later on, I sneak the diary inside her locker. Back in my room, I'm pacing in circles. For the past hour, I've been trying to talk to Kim, but she's busy cleaning. When someone knocks on my door at midnight, I yelp. Ah! Cautiously, cautiously, I open it only to reveal it's Kim. Do you have a minute? I need to talk to you, Noodle Boy. I agree and I let her in my room. Noodle Boy, I apologize. I'm sorry I haven't really been talking to you. Would you like to tell me the reason why? 
Yes. Ano, itswa. Anta no medo yameta in da kedo. Oh, this is sudden. Listen, I I'd like to stop being your maid. My world comes crashing down, but I manage to keep a straight face. Why? Mina to Anna ga ireba, nani mo mondai nai wa. You'll do just fine with Mina and Anna. Atashi wa tada no ashi de matoi da mono. Atashi ni dekiru no wa oyashiki no soji dake. I'm just a burden here. All I can do is clean the mansion, but I thought that's what maids do. Nizukuri wa mo sumase ta wa. O hima o itadake nai kashira, ko shujin sama. I pack my bags. Please let me take my leave, Master. What should I do? Man, Kim's quitting. Ah, oh, rip. Man, I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm not one to like hold on to people and force them to do something that they don't want to. Then again. Begging her to stay, though, would come across as really desperate and obstruct the fact that she wants space. Oh man, this is sad. <laughs> Alright. Alright, guys. It's time to let Kim go. Who am I to tell you what you should and shouldn't do? It hurts me that Kim wants to leave the mansion, but it's her life. You're not in my possession. If you're happy, then I'll be happy too. Just then, Mina and Anna passed by my room. They both looked downcast. M may we come in? Sure. The first thing that Anna and Mina do is sandwich Kim into a bear hug. Mina, Anna, what is this? Mina, Anna, what's this for? You were planning to leave, weren't you? You were packing your bags. Well, I... Don't leave us, Kim. You matter here. Master needs all of us here. Please stay, Kim. Please, come on, Kim. If that's the case, then... Anna, Mina, and I await Kim's reply. Then I'm so sorry for all the trouble I caused all of you. Aww. Phew. Dodged a bullet there. If you if you need me here, then of course I want to stay. Aww, Kim's showing emotions. I'm proud of her. Can you please take off those dumb cat ears, though? Please, I can't take you seriously. I feel safest when I'm here with you guys. Yay! <laughs> Aw, Mina's so pure. The three of them suddenly turn their gazes to me. You've been quiet, Master. Is there anything you'd like to say? What should I say? can't afford to lose all of you. My maid's cheerful smiles vanish when they hear me speak. Dang, that was dramatic. Why so serious? Loosen up, Master. We'll still have a couple weeks before you have to choose. Are they feeling sad, too? Right, let's not think about it now. The three of us haven't shown our full potential yet. <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I hope I can pick the best maid for me. I push the glum thoughts aside and I smile brightly at my maids. It's the weekend, which means I have all day to rest and practice ball. Since it's early, I want to surprise my maids by attempting to make breakfast for all of us. Oh boy. All my plans come crashing down when I reach the kitchen and find all my maids having a serious conversation. Oh, you girls are up early. Master, Kim has a solution to catch the culprit. My interest is piqued. What is it? Tell me. And that's where the episode's gonna end, isn't it? There's a catch. What's the catch? 
Kim stands up and faces me. We might have to break some school rules for this. Oh no! Sounds like a big risk. What is the solution? Keep playing! I knew it. <laughs> I just freaking knew it. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you thought of this episode. And please let me know if you'd like to see more soon. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Stay safe.